What is a CT-guided lung nodule biopsy? It is a procedure where an interventional radiologist uses a thin needle to sample tissue from a lung nodule. And instead of just discussing a lung nodule biopsy, I'm going to walk you through exactly what happens during a lung nodule biopsy. The first thing that happens is the patient is placed on a CT table and scanned. Here is the first scan. Here you can see a nodule in the left upper lobe, and this is the nodule we are targeting for biopsy. The next scan, you can see these radiopaque markers on the skin. We use these markers to plan our access site. This gives us basically an X that will mark the spot, and that spot will be the skin entry site that we'll use to get our needles into place. We also use this to figure out what is our angle to that lesion going to be. We'll get measurements from the scan, and that'll be helpful when we're at the patient's side and we're guiding those needles towards the lesion. Now remember, we see these images on the monitor, but when we're working, we're right next to the patient and we have to reference these images either in our minds or using the monitor to safely access these lesions. And that's exactly what an interventional radiologist does is integrate imaging information with real-time patient anatomy. So here's another scan, and you can see that we're advancing that needle towards the nodule. As we're advancing the needle towards the nodule, we'll do a few scans in between to make sure we're on target, and if we're not on target, we're going to go ahead and adjust the needle, make sure we're going towards that nodule. So what needle are we using? We're using this needle. This is a special needle that has basically two components. Internally, it has a cutting stylet, and when you take the stylet out, the needle is a hollow cannula. Now, what this helps us do is take the stylet out and then place another needle through the initial needle. This is what coaxial technique means. We basically go through the already existing axis, coaxial. Now, here you can see a scan where we've accessed the periphery of the nodule. From here, we're going to start obtaining our fine needle aspirates. Now, fine needle aspiration needles are very thin, very delicate needles. This is what the needles look like. As I said before, we basically take the stylet out and then advance these FNA needles through that initial needle. Once we feel the tactile nature of the nodule, we'll go ahead and start aspirating it using a special technique. We basically hook up a syringe to this FNA needle. We apply negative pressure on the syringe and do a rocking to and fro motion, getting small aspirates of those cells. Once we've got aspirates of those cells, we hand the needle and the syringe directly to the cytotechnologist. The cytotechnologist checks the sample under the microscope and ensures its adequacy for getting a diagnosis. Once we have anywhere between three and five aspirates, we remove all instruments and scan again. Here's a scan, and what are we looking for? We're looking for a pneumothorax, or air within the chest. Again, this happens about 10 to 20% of the time. In this particular case, we're actually seeing a very small anteromedial pneumothorax. So this is a patient we're going to watch for a few hours in our patient holding area and get serial chest x-rays to follow this finding. So in brief, that is an explanation of a CT-guided lung nodule biopsy. Thanks for watching. It's Rob RMD.